hello and i'm still here i'm still here I'm still here i'm trying as much as possible to do as many welcome back to cynthia's conversation again i hope you guys weekend is going well this one is from a gentleman so let me read as he was sent oh, i gotta make it bigger if not i can't see so a friend of mine opened up to me about his wife he said she cheated on him in two in 2021 with her ex after all pleading he forgive her in 2022 she cheated again he sent her packing back to his her parents her family came and played on her behalf and he his dad said he should take his wife back and he did this december 2023 she slept with his friend that came back to Nigeria again and he had enough. What will you do in this situation? <laughs> uh, okay, this question, I think it will be right to say the question is for men. What would they do in this situation? But let me, uh, answer, uh, let me say my opinion about it, what I think about it. Okay, the first time she cheated, you pleaded, please, 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 and then you took her back. And then she went on again. <laughs> Let me count how many times she has cheated. The one that you know of. Let's not talk about the one that you don't know of. Okay, so let me go back again. So, she cheated in 2021. You forgive she cheated again in 2022 and then you then i beg i beg you took and then now in 2023 she then went as far and slept with your friend who came to the country and then now you say what will you do if you are if you were my brother or my son i will tell you to send her packing because number one Okay, let, let, that, that, that's even easy. Let, let first of all, the first question you're supposed to be asking is, when every single time she cheated and you ask her why, don't you ask why, what is the reason behind her cheating? Because some people just do it for fun's sake. Some people do it because something is missing in their marriage. Some people do it because they were not into you in the first place. One situation made them Number three, she's still in love with whoever ex. The one that I don't understand is when um, you leave your ex and then you go and get married. Your ex that is ex for a reason. That didn't marry you when you both were dating. And then when you then get married, that ex will now come back into your life and you will now disrespect your husband by going to cheat with your ex somebody help me make sense if i wasn't good enough to be your wife and now i'm somebody else's wife but i'm good enough to be your sleeping partner or name me whatever you want to name me i somebody help me out because i don't get it so the question you are asking if i what i would do if i'm in this situation look this woman is probably doing it for doing sake or maybe you guys are not active in that department if you guys are not active in that department you cannot deprive her from her right because we all have needs then she'll have a needs. i'm trying to weigh both sides i'm not condone what she does because for me i don't believe in that if you are tired of married call it quit this idea of oh we are no we are together but we are not together you go do your it for me as much as you people think that nobody out there know what you do i don't know how your conscience let you sleep at night and i wonder how people sit there and so i can sleep at night if i were in your shoe i don't think i can sleep in the night either because end it 
it will be more your children will be more happier knowing that my mom and dad they love us so much but they somebody can be a very good dad to your kids like an amazing dad but it will be a rubbish husband a rubbish partner to you or vice versa a woman can be an absolutely adorable mother to the mother of your kids but she is not your life partner she's not the wife that you need it's okay and secondly, some people are not even meant to be your wife or your husband. They are just people that you're supposed to have a kick or two with and then buy it and move on. If you choose to get married, I just don't understand the idea of when you get married. If you get married, please respect that, you know, sacrament of marriage that you vow to respect. So for me, whether, whether she stay, if, if, like I said, there is a big if, if you were my brother, or my son, I will send her packing. Just let her go and continue with whoever she's doing her do to do it. Because this just doesn't make sense, for God's sake. You know, so the, the first time I went, I think I had the topic one time when the question that was asked was, do you think... It was specific for African women. Do you think whether African women encourage their partner or their husband to cheat? And I said categorically. And the reason why I said that is, is this. If I have seen so many podcasts lately on the internet where women will say, Oh, yeah, if you leave your husband because he cheated, it's like you are running away from one country because it rain and you go to another country and it rains there as well. So if you leave the man that said he's cheated and you go and date somebody else and then that person, maybe the wife too, left him because he was cheating. So we women need to do better. Honestly, we need to do better because the reason being is when the man cheat the first time and you stays, what that signal to the man is, it's okay. That the same principle applied to this particular woman. When she cheated the first time and you forgive after the pleading and stay, you have just enabled her and empowered her to go out there and do not only that the first one that she slept is not somebody that you know and the second the third person she slept in according to this is actually your friend when is where is it going to stop is it going to be your gate man your dad your brother your uncle where so i don't know it depends you know he had enough i completely i absolutely support that because it's never going to end it's going to be a vicious cycle and these are the three that you know about. What about the one that you don't know? You should be looking at your gate man. <laughs> I, I just... Uh. Lord help us. I, I, I sit here sometimes when I read something and, listen, and then listen to some women speak on the internet. It seems to be the only way to validate somebody loyalty or strongness or is how much suffering you know if this man how your action is going to affect this person that you claim to love you want to spend the rest of your life with but that still doesn't stop you sleeping with someone else knowing fully well it's going to affect this in both way in the same both way when Women, the same thing when a man cheats and he doesn't think that he has any effect on the wife whatsoever. You don't know. I've seen women that were bubbling, like they have life before they get married, and as soon as they get married, they it looks like their life has been sucked out of them. And you still see them there, my husband, my husband, my husband, my, my husband, papa, this, papa, that. Look, as back to your question, just allow me to go around, around uh, back to the question that you ask. What will I do in this situation? My dear, the man is doing exactly what you should have done the first time. 
if she can't stay okay you know first time is a mistake second time is what third time is what this time around is even your friend so look if the man decided that he had enough i don't think the the family should come begging every single time she goes out and mess around and come back and start begging if the marriage is tired you're tired of it back your back and go just go this idea that you have to hurt another person for the sake of marriage i just don't appreciate it but that's just me talking look my dear tell your friend that you know whatever decision at this point that he said he had enough i cynthia i support he had enough maybe if she goes back to her family house then she's free then she can go ahead and do as many as she wants but at least he's not hurting the mind she's not in the my house and then going with dog and chicken only the name of she wants to sleep with somebody so that's my opinion and please don't crucify me for it. Until next time, guys. Bye.